Today we're talking about five Irma fragrances that are worth every copper penny and here's why. If you happen to be new to the game, Armoth has done a great job at cloning fragrances. They like recreate almost anything of value and some of their fragrances are really good, which is why we're talking about five of them today. So some of you out there may be wondering like, why would anyone purchase a cloned fragrance, a knockoff, so to speak? And essentially it's a few reasons. One, these fragrances tend to be cheaper, a lot less expensive than real deal holy feel fragrances of those niche perfume brands. Also. Sometimes people travel a ton and don't want to bring out their good bottles or their big bottles with them because anything could happen. And then also because some of the niche fragrances aren't found everywhere. Before you blind buy them, you want to go ahead and test them out. Make sure it's something that you enjoy before investing in a official bottle of fragrance for some of the fragrance brands out there like Papa Damali, Creed, Tom Ford. You see where we're going here. Some of the bigger, more known fragrance brands that don't cost, well, they cost a lot. First up on my list today is this fragrance from my moth, and this one is Club De Nuit Intense. And if there was enough space in the bottle, it would say women or for women. This fragrance is really phenomenal. And I think they left the women off on purpose because they could have put it on here some wonky way. The bottle was quite interesting in itself, is that they knew that men would wear this fragrance. Now this fragrance is based on the Tom Ford Private Blend fragrance, which happens to be Noir de Noir. And we all know that Tom Ford private blend fragrances are made to be unisex fragrances that anyone could wear them and this is one of those fragrances that I find to be worth the money. This one is a strong, powerful scent, and I talked about this one years ago in an official review. I'll be sure to link it down below. But if you're not a fan of rose within the fragrance, if you're not a fan of darker scents, this one's not going to be for you. But the rose is prominent within this fragrance. The saffron is there. It's slightly sweet. It's thick. It's bold. It stands out. It projects a ton. And there's all the things that you would expect with the original Tom Ford, but for a fraction of the price point. For me, if I'm going to wear this fragrance, it's going to be nighttime, more specifically fall and winter. As again, as I mentioned, this is a darker, heavier fragrance that I do find to be unisex, but it is strong on certain notes like rose, that saffron is strong. There's some nutmeg, there's some pepper, and then also has a sensual component with it, with the vanilla here and a bit of amber as well. A fragrance that I would recommend, obviously, top five are my fragrances, are moth, Club Dinner Week Intense Women. Woman or no woman. It's there. The one with the gold cap. Next on our list today, we have a fragrance that I truly enjoy. And this one's not an exact replica of a fragrance that they're looking to clone, so to speak, but this one is a phenomenal take on it. Now, Trade No Wheat Pour Om happens to be a clone of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And with the note breakdown here, you would have some notes that you would expect within Green Irish Tweed. So you got the lemon verbena, iris, lemon, lavender, ambergris, and sandalwood. And this fragrance, as you would expect, is going to be great for this time of year when I'm dropping this video, which will be your spring and onset into summer. This is a warm weather fragrance for sure, but where this fragrance really sets itself apart versus the original, as that one's super clean, Irish Springs, which you would say that fragrance is, although it doesn't smell exactly like that. You would say that this one, that one's a clean fragrance. This one's a clean one as well, but there's a creaminess within the Trey Nuit that is not in the original. I would be extremely interested interested to see if they did something different. How they ramped up Aventus Cologne. They did something slightly different with that one. I would be interested to see what Creed would do if Green Irish Tweed from them had this super creamy undertone. I think it could be amazing. Trainer We Pour Home is going to be a fragrance that's going to be great for daytime, great for casual wear. You could also rock this one to the office and just fresh out of the shower. Super clean fragrance and again, a super great great price point. This is like a uh, super inexpensive fragrance. So Green Irish Tree is one of my most complimented fragrances from Isles of Creed. Armoff Trade and Wheat, one of my most complimented fragrances from Armoff. So there you have it. Trade and Wheat should be on your list. If you do not have it, click it, add to cart. Now we go to the midway point on our list today, and this one is definitely the most viewed video on my channel from Armoth. And this one happens to be Creed Aventus, the fragrance that symbolizes success. You're gonna have a lot of the similar 
little notes here as I mentioned in the OG video that I did some people prefer the opening on this one a bit more with a vintage you got that birch you got smoky aspect of it and a ton of different batch variations that may make the fragrance smell slightly different some a little more fruity some a little smokier pineapples heavier than the others some bergamots heavier than the other ones and this one's pretty consistent across the board now if you're looking for a company out there that does clones slightly less expensive than not slightly very much different than creep price points but not as inexpensive as this apart from vintage really does a great job in capturing the different batch variations so if you know what you're looking for you could look there but all in all club dinner wheat intense man is a great fragrance like the trade in a wheat fragrance this one is going to be great for pretty much any situation wear this one to the office you could dress it up dress it down this fragrance does do wonders in that hot weather a situation spring summer is going to be great but i also think you could do a good job on this fragrance with uh, you know fall and winter i feel feel like you could do that now despite the name club then we intense man club being the key word there i don't find this one to be quite a clubbing scent and that's even with the ventus in my personal opinion if you're looking for a fragrance again it has that similar dna that you can spray consistently whether you want to use it as a car air freshener some people do that you can wear it out and about if you're going out to the court don't want to wear the real thing and that's your like signature scent this is one of those fragrances that you could wear have a ton of backup bottles or if you're a younger guy out there working just getting a few paycheck got a little bit of money to scrape up put to it towards a nice fragrance that's one of those ones that you could do and uh, save a little bit and get multiple bottles versus uh, you know 400 plus for a regular bottle of Creed from a retail location. I'm not telling you to do that, but you could. And the next fragrance I'm gonna hop into is a recreation of another Creed fragrance, i.e. I like Creed, <laughs> but I also uh, like this scent here. Now there are two fragrances within the house of Armoff that I know of that attempt to recreate this scent. I said this in the first video, and I'll say it again. This fragrance here, Derby Clubhouse Blanche EDT, that is not like a full-fledged Silver Mountain Water clone. I think they did some things that go in that direction, but if you want the better of the two, in my personal opinion, this is gonna be it, and this is Club de Nuit Siage, all right? And uh, one of the knocks that the original Silver Mountain Water gets is that it doesn't last that long, the Siage isn't there, the different batch variations, etc. That is solved for, for the most part, with this fragrance here. Somebody just hit me up and said, hey, I got Silver Mountain Water, I love it. Is there something different that I can wear and preserve it? And I told them to try this fragrance fragrance as well as one again from Parfum Vintage. They have one that, that does a phenomenal job as well. This scent here smells good. It had that same inkiness that tea vibe is what you would get within this one uh black current this is a nice scent again this one falls in line with armoff price points and i haven't checked them out to know what they are today but i haven't linked them listed down below for you and i don't want to misquote you because with inflation and things going on i could give you one price a day you could watch this video a, a few months from late from today and like hey that's totally wrong he doesn't know what he's talking about but <laughs> so therefore i'm going to leave the price out but overall phenomenal fragrances there from the house of our moth. Now we get down to the final fragrance on my list today and this one, this one right here, it is not a Creed clone. This fragrance is something special in my personal opinion. This is probably, not probably, this is definitely my most worn all my fragrance of all time, which is why I had to move this one up the list. This one is Armoff Craze. Now, Armoff Craze is the fragrance that is reminiscent to a Parfum de Mali fragrance, which is phenomenal, and that one happens to be Pegasus. And this one is that fragrance that I had for a long, long time prior to even getting Pegasus. I had samples of Pegasus, but I didn't feel the need to purchase Pegasus because I had this fragrance. This is how good this scent is to me. Overall, I find this fragrance to be super enjoyable you get that almond you get the heliotrope within this one it is airy and wispy as you would expect from the original obviously it's not an exact but this scent does a phenomenal job of projecting off my skin grabbing me compliments is why i wore so much of this scent now like all of the other presentations that we get from our mouth it's a bit cheesy all right so if you're gonna wear this fragrance and you're concerned about how cheesy it looks then you can put this one aside now what i will say about all clones no matter if we're talking about our moth if we're talking about taffa we're talking about 
any of the apart from vintage out there if we're talking about Raswasi or Rasasi, any of the, the clone houses out there what I will say is if you want to wear a clone just own up to it bro own up to it and say what you got on that is it that is all alright it's nothing wrong with it if you're admitting what you have on is not the real deal where the problem comes in if we're trying to say that it's the real thing and you're misleading people it's not my place to tell you what to do but I'm just, I'm just gonna say it out there for sure listen that's all I got for you those are five of the best all my fragrances on the market today at least within my collection because I haven't tried them all let me know what are your top Five again, our moth craze is one that I wore a crazy amount. Um, tons and tons of sprays of this for sure. I probably use almost half the entire bottle, which is difficult for me to do with the amount of fragrances that I have within my collection. So that just tells you how good that fragrance is. So let me know what you're rocking out there from the house of our moth. Is there any that you recommend? Or you say, Nah, B, I ain't rocking no clones. Never, ever, ever. Well, I rock clothes. Comment that down below for me as well. Listen, that's all I got for you. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. Be on the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Dropping bangers, saving your money, and letting you know that there are alternatives out there for you for whatever reason that you might want a clone in your collection. That's all I got for you. You know what I need you to do. Don't be a clone. Hit the real, hit the real bell. Hit the real bell so you know when I'm uploading. And come back. Come back over and over again, all right? Or send it to some friends so they can, they can be you as well. I'm okay with that clone. <laughs> I'll catch y'all around.